Hello and welcome back to Tyranny. Little Luke was appealing about these rubbery, dank scented mushrooms. Yet the settlers of the wound care for them as if they were the finest fruit. Look, look. That scared me. I must admit. Smooth blue fur frames this massive beast woman's flat face, her blunt snout wrinkling as she sniffs at you. Her skin, in those spots where you can see it, glistens, almost pearlescent. Her upper lip curls back to expose darker, sharp teeth. <sighs> Human smells of flamistic power, of sing, force note, and plant smoke. Yet looks small and frail, like hairless whelp. The beast woman at your side raises to her full height, chest thrust forward, and snarls at ocean's fury. Mm. Manta born best woman, no, not human who smells of fate binder. Alpha to kill in shadow. Can be forgiven of foolishness. Once. For glistening, ocean's fury glowers at kills in shadow. Shadow hunter calls human alpha. Then perhaps human strength must true. Our or shadow hunter gone weak from time away from tribe. For what does human disturb functions for a prowling vigil? Mm. The crops are sick. Have you seen anything unusual around the farm? She chuffs, scratching her, her heavily muscled torso with a webbed paw. Ocean sphere prowls farm on hunt for Bane. Bane come from old walls, not farm. Still, beast woman does see things for that pass. Sea smoke, brood mother, and slow humans sneak the farm when human called Tycho looks elsewhere. Mm. Can you tell me more about the small brood mother? Small brood mother, what is green prey food? She lurks in tumble down stones at the entrance light. Hides a, a thing there when no one to see. The slow human, big and heavy, smells of hot metal. Hides a thing under rocks and in the corner near squishy glow fungus he whelps. Humans think no one watches, but oceans fury sees without watching. Beast woman hunts bane, though no, not humans. What does beast woman care of what humans do with stones? I've seen a lot of different, different beastmen here. How many tribes call the wound home? One of them more than one, like human tribes, but they grown stronger in difference. One and more than one? What's that mean? One tribe called wound king hunts prey in bastard's wound. All beast women answer to the wound king name. All that look to Rift Town as prima before Rift Town left into old walls. What tribes did they belong to before they became a wound kin? Ocean's Fury and Rift and Armanta born, first among tribes. She draws herself up proudly and thumbs the closed paw against her chest. Manta born hounds sea as swift as sharks, range long coast from starward to city, rule ocean where humans bring no war. West rivers have fur like rust, range northern lands high steer. Not many days from moon towards sunset, where humans fear tread. Yep, she seems to consider the tribe. West Reavers, best hunters in grasslands, good hunters in mountains. She got chaps slightly. <laughs> Poor hunters in sea salt. Stone stalkers small, but room in large packs. Stone mystic is known the stone song of air blood. Good hunters in mountains, not as good in your place. A few others talk with Woundkin, chases clouds in the gloom of dark Katfana, only few left. What was that about the tribe's differences? Her eyes were slightly. Each tribe knows its hunting grounds best. Manta born best swimmers, small stone stalkers climb quickest, shadow hunters blend with night and stalk with cunning. Simple. What do you, do you mean by your prowling vigil? Ocean fury of prowls wound far, hunts bane with claws and fangs, drives away trespassers with growls and knuckles. 
She points out to the vast gulf to the north. All those put down center like lightning forked stump. Bane sleep across gulf ocean fury watches always. Okay, thank you. She nods, snorts and nods. Can't do that. But you, you did say something about place where two people hide something. Here, I think. Discord Ash and the other one. Dehydrated moss. Welcome back, Feedbinder. I have information for you regarding the water problem. That sounds so really in its news, Feedbinder. We s well spit spit it out. Would you dig up? Mm, oh. Okay. So probably. Oh. That was Ocean's Fury. Maybe you know something. Holy fate binder. To be honest, I didn't expect a courtly type like you to show up in this piss hole. Would have thought you'd have better things to do than check up on a few wilting wings growing in beast shit. What can I do for you? Uh, Taiko mentioned that you've had problems with the crop. Smart all of is that us as had Kratos' fault. That pile of pork chops can't tell his head from a hole in the ground. Uh, if anyone was faxing up the water, it's probably him. Kratos doesn't water the plants. He's on Mushroom Patrol, and I don't remember saying anything about the water. <sighs> Fuck me! You're smarter than you look! Well, we can't all look as brilliant as we are. She lowers her voice. Look, the survival of the wounds, my top priority. The wound and my son. Since I can't be out there blade in hand, I want to be good and fucking certain the wounds being led by someone who can keep everyone safe. That's Walkstar. He's got the experience and he's got the sorcery. I told him as much as he asked for my help bringing everyone else around. He thought if the coup started to fail, people would blame it on that northern shit stain he has supposed to turn to Walkstar to fix things. How did you keep Tycho from discovering the water was a different color? What stuff's no idiot? He gave me something that makes the ens ensorcelled water look like that filthy forgebound water. Not knowing that will help you though. No one will believe what stuff's sabotaging the crop without proof. Fate binder or, or no. <coughs> Fuck me! She shakes her head. Alright, you've got me over a barrel, Fate Binder. What now? Little Taiko and she's like us not to get me. You understand what I was saying earlier, right? I just want my son to survive. I want the wound to thrive so that the kid has a good, good future. Swear on your child's life that you'll never do this again. I do swear, Fate Binder. Show mercy and I'll never do anything like this again. With a quick bow, she flees your presence. Um, no Sorry, I can't. Speaking to. Walkstaff is to blame for the bad tears crops. Walkstaff? But uh, is Purity of Water his calling? You got anything to support this belief? Walkstaff created the hydrated moss to change the color of the water for the tears crops. But how was it getting in the water? The person responsible has been dealt with. You needn't worry. She has some frustration. I suppose there's no forcing you to tell me. You say you bound the fate of whoever did this. I'll take you at your word. Just know it's the fate of this farm balance on your judgment. She inhales deeply and whistles a long, contented sigh. 
Knowing this, the veggies are as good as saved. Don't explain the mushroom problem. But half a crop's ball better than no crop at all. Thanks, Fatebinder. You've helped the wound more than I suspected you know. I would like to give you this as, as thanks. A frappy, fro, frothy from my rough and tumble years. Cleanest helm on the battlefield. Was that? It was... Mm, I have no idea what she gave us. Sterile something. I don't know. This? Ooh. Heavy bronze armor. God damn it. No one is gonna wear that. Is that? Oh, it's power. Wait. I'm the only one with that. What is this power? Make my power over the tears? And was there anyone else we could speak to? Or is it closed? We need to find Mel. Uh -huh. Seeing me approaching, he straightens up to see him a little taller. <laughs> Wasn't expecting to see a fight by the down, down here. Name's Kletos, protector of the farm. He announces it like a title. You may have heard of me. Uh, Lantry skins for a few pages of notes. Not at all. Oh, so, uh, he, he needs me for something? Despite his armor, you can tell that he flexes his muscles. Eyes roaming him appreciatively, Ed leans forward. I can think of some uses for him if you're at loss. My life is service, he winks. Tell me about yourself, Kletos, protector of the farm. Sander born and raised, I didn't have much of growing up and, and the sea life wasn't for me, so I took up the blade, been a warrior ever since. Ran with the House of Broken Regions before we ended up here. What is the House of Broken Regions? Surprised you haven't heard of us. Well, we are the best bloody mercenaries company out uh, of the free cities. And don't let those mothers free blade moreovers tell you different. We are the only crew to have bested those stalwart bastards, not that they would ever admit it. A sour expression briefly mars his features. Uh, it's uh, a matter of sander pride. The city for the bloody war for independence, and the terms of the treaty gave Thunder its independence from Stalwart in return for the public declaration that Sorrow didn't lose. So much as neither side won. And that's why I and other children of Thunder smear title at the name Unbroken. How do you protect the farm? Uh, it ain't obvious I'm a fighter, a bloody good one too. It's almost a shame to have me up here on the farm, so far from the hole in vain. If the pain are a threat, what do you do here? Daigo has me looking for after the mushrooms. She keeps a close eye on everything around here. A bit too close if you ask me, and she's quick to remind me when I cook something up. Uh, I used the wrong water on the mushrooms once, and she appendectomy. me. Obviously, I would have never, I would have blocked it. He, he chops the air with an open palm, or touched it. He jokes illustratively to the left. If I would afford anything like that was coming, hmm. he clears his throat. Anyway, had the black eye for weeks. Not doing that again. No how, no way. Should we speak to the Tidecaster? Uh, Mel, right? Mel. Mel. The Sophia. Yes, we need to walk around because now we can actually. 
talk with everyone. Are you willing to tell me something now? Good day to you, Sadebinder. Let me be the first to tell you that all of my licenses are well in order, signed and sealed this very year. He swipes a layer of perspiration from his brow and chuckles nervously. <laughs> no reason to at all to ransack my cart or confiscate my goods. I trade in whatever I can get my hands on these days. Care to have a look? Sure. Hmm. Not too much. Oops, but they may sell you some things. Yes, we are leaving. Oh, that's not blue. I think we can really sell. I don't know why I want to keep the blue stuff. What is that? Other. I think those broken stuff we can do, use at the spires. We're getting rich. No. Sorry, I can't. Yes, you can. I allow you. Are you willing to talk now? Welcome, our little, little refuge, Fatebinder. You here to help us keep the wound clear, okay? Is Incipit Molliger picks at a splotch of trail blood on her greaves. She wears the patchwork armor of a scarlet fury. Are the Bane constantly showing up like that? Oh, welcome to our headache! The way the Bane come and go, we would think the teleporters were beaded curtains. Lucky for us, the beasts, uh, beasts seem to love killing Bane. They'll put in more hours on sentry duty than any human, and I welcome the extra sleep. What's through that portal? That goes deeper into the untamed old walls. We sent patrols out to sharpen the beast's claws and lighten the numbers of Bane, but we haven't exactly mapped it. How'd you get that name? Figured it was smarter to ask the voices for a name rather than let my gang boss do it. I figured wrong. I could have been shits for days or bleeding sores if I would waited long enough. Even hindsight would be more appropriate. What do you do here, exactly? Whatever work stuff wants, guess you can call me an apprentice, I can read, which is more than most can say. He's teaching you a ways? <laughs> I'm sorry you have a fool for a teacher, but you have been given a great honor. Do not squander it. It's more mm, subtle than the red work for the course, but I don't mind the change of, change of pace. So the blue is to honor work stuff. Exactly! Fucker eyes help my gang with his spells, so now I fight for him. Those are the rules. In a twist way, I think the voices would approve. Not that his approval is any safer than his wrath. Where did she go? Right. Oh, you are here right now. Okay, nothing new. I am aware of the efforts to undermine the farming efforts. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is you think you are accusing me of, I assure you, I think you have the wrong man. Just know that I'm watching you. I see. Well then, I will make sure that whatever isn't happening ceases to not happen anymore. Can't do that. Just so he knows. Wait, is she even here? Bastard's wound, yeah. Oh. 
Faint binder, you've returned. Sage Lantry, how did you? What are you doing here? A long story, my dear friend. The synopsis is that I'm working for the Fate Binder now. And just what brings you to this of all places? Lexi, of course, I would fool her anywhere, or so I thought. Uh, she has descended deep into the old walls, farther than our patrols there to venture. Apologies, she can be cute to greet you. Lexi, she's alive, so she survived the edict of fire. Lantry's eyes widen with surprise, and you hear the clinking of files as his entire body trembles. Last I know, she went into the depths of the old walls. To me, that's a death sentence, especially if she's no longer able to walk her magic. I'm so, so sorry, I, I wish you had stumbled upon us sooner. Maybe you could have reconnected with her. Her mind was dwindling, and I know she was fixated on making sure everything she carried out of the Velum still was hidden and safe. She and I hid one such cash over by the farm. The others are, I presume, deeper in the old walls. Lexim knew an old sage trick that conceals the stashes, making them fade from view unless another chronicler stands near. When her magic began fading, she made a rush to conceal things, but aside from the one stash in the farm, only she knows where the rest lay. I want anything. Uh, is there anything uh, I can help you with? I wanted to know if you need assistance with anything. I do have concerns for the future of the wound, um, but I do what I do by virtue of not stepping on any toes. And I'm not about to start by angering either of the old men. <laughs> Uh, you've probably noticed that both Jaspus and Walkstaff offer much to our settlement. And you'll likely notice that while they both want the bastard's wounds to prosper, they're long past working together towards that possibility. There's another way they won't could succeed, if you're interested. What do you have in mind? Nobody likes to admit it, but this place ran best when Reef Talon was in charge. I know you're probably thinking this place needs a leader. Not a prima, but the Aspos and Wokstaff are going to get most of all us of us killed eventually. If Reef Talon is alive, she needs to be convinced to come home. Reef Talon created a sleepless, right? Why would you want her back? Yes, and I can be furious over what happened to Lexim, or I can focus on the future of the settlement. I refuse to believe she intentionally sickened people. I think instead she has a magical power she just needs help controlling. Besides, maybe there are some who were healed by her, but who didn't become sleepless. You think maybe she healed someone when they didn't become sleepless? Huh. It was just a cut, the smallest thing. Mel shows you his lower arm. Whatever scar he's intending to show off is long gone. She pressed her hand on it and it got better. I said nothing for fear of drawing suspicion. But in truth, I felt quite fine. Though I'll be lying if I said I can sleep easy of late. But it's because I miss like scene. I'm sure the affliction isn't actually setting in. Or at least I have to think that way. How would one bring back Reef Talon? You would have to find her and convince her to come back, or take advantage of her mature nature. Her kind uses strength as a form of debate. From what I know of her, she left out of self-loathing over the sleepless. So the trick is convincing her this hope. I show Exim's conviction that Reef Talon didn't intend to make anyone sleepless. Exim hypothesizes that it was an unintended side effect of an inexperienced, untrained mystic, meaning uh, such things could be corrected with training. I know Lexime was writing about the subject right before she stopped being able to write. If you can find her corpse down there, I can't imagine the pain ahead her notes. Reef Talon may be too stubborn to ever come back, but many of us miss her. We'd forgive her if she would forgive us. I will try to find Rift Talon. To access the depths of the old walls, we'll need the keystone that is 
insipid moniker currently is. You know what she's up to, right? I imagine you should be able to leverage her cooperation with that information. Might I suggest searching the abyss? Uh, none in our hunting parties have caught sight of the Xeem, so I suspect she's ascending far into the old wolf's depths. He suddenly recalls something and hastily rifles through one of his pouches. Uh, uh, here, take this. It's called a Warden Key. One of the last ones, forged in a rare moment of collaboration between Jaspers and Walkstaff. They say it may be used to interact with oddities in the old walls from a distance, like those pigments we often see. Best to make your journey as quickly as possible. Jaspers and Walkstaff have already sent some of their hunting parties into the depths. Their best men, I would say. Hard looks among them all. Can't be far, eh, for any good purpose. My bet is that they're looking for Reef Talon, and not for a cordial conversation. Oh, that was a lot. Okay, and so with that I am gonna end this part here. So thank you very much, stay alive, and see you soon. Bye.